Good morning, church family. I hope you're all doing well today. I uh, hope you had a great Lord's Day yesterday. I know it was somewhat different than normal, but I hope you still uh, enjoyed it and had a great time. Uh, it was really amazing to see what God is uh, doing through these times, and I wanted to share a little bit about that with you. Uh, we had, we've had so far over 800 views of the sermon that we posted online between our Facebook and our YouTube page, which is just amazing. On any given Sunday, we'd have uh, 300 or less just of those who attend. And, and through this uh, interesting time, I think people are searching for God, and uh, it's forced us to put our, our media out there on, on social media and, and to take, uh, take advantage of that resource. And it's really amazing to see how God is, is utilizing that. So over 800 views of our, of our sermon, I've heard, uh, of people, I heard stories of people taking care of each other's needs. I've had people contact me or let me know, or ask me how they can, uh, serve and assist other people. And so needs are being met and uh, people are volunteering, people are working and the gospel is being shared. God is being glorified. Just, just like we talked about in the sermon yesterday, God is being glorified through his church. And that is encouraging. It is amazing. God is still using us uh, in this time and even in a more effective way. Um, while I was with you, I always wanted, also wanted to share an encouragement from the word uh, that's going to come out of the sermon text that I'll be preaching for you this, this week. Uh, this coming Sunday, we're going to be getting into Ephesians chapter 4. And Paul begins Ephesians chapter 4, beginning verse 1, with this way. He says, I, therefore, a prisoner of the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. Such an, uh, it's such an important message. I think it's interesting. Every time I, I flip to the Word, I see every, I feel like everything I'm reading in the Word right now is so applicable to, the, to this current situation and this time. And it's amazing how the Word of God applies uh, to, um, to our lives in, in such different ways at different times. And uh, I think it's just amazing that uh, God's Word is so powerful in that way. Uh, but spe specifically, when I read this word and I read this encouragement to walk in a manner worthy of our calling, it's easy to use tough situations as an excuse to be less godly, uh, to be irritated with people, to be impatient, to be upset with God because we don't understand the situation, to be mad about um, maybe the way that we're being treated by others, maybe the way we're being treated by our family, maybe the way we've uh, been treated by our employers or our, our personal situations. It's real easy to get upset. Uh, and I know many people are hurting in this time uh, with the loss of jobs and uh, just being trapped at home. But the word still challenges us to walk in a manner worthy of our calling. And I think it's even of greater importance now to be patient and to bear with one another, bearing each other's burdens, but also just being patient and, and loving and caring for one another, especially in our own households. We're spending, many of us are spending a lot more time together at home than, than we're used to. And it's easy to get frustrated, especially with the people that are closest to us. And those are the people we need to show the love of God to the most, absolutely the most. Um, and so I just wanted to encourage you, encourage everyone to let you know what the Lord is doing through through our church at this time, uh, even though that we're meeting online. Uh, I, again, just to add to that, we had our small group online, and that was an encouraging time. And I've seen videos and and uh, I heard stories shared from many of the other small groups that are meeting online. If you if you're not doing that, you want to be a part of that, let us know. We can get you plugged in to one of those groups as they meet. We're going to try to do something for this Wednesday, and we're going to see about what we can do for Sunday morning Bible class, if we can upload a class or live stream something on Facebook. Uh, so we're still working on those options to see what we can improve uh, and see how we can continue to, to use this medium in this time uh, to, uh, to keep our church connected and unified. Uh, God, is, God is using us. God is being glorified through the work that everyone in our church is doing. And I just want to encourage everyone to keep your faith strong, to keep pursuing God, use this opportunity to dive into his word, and especially use this opportunity in this time to show the love of God to those who are around you.